I'm too late. They beat me. But they've left behind some signs. Some signs to say that someone lived on this once. A few weeks ago, a butterfly passed by here. A butterfly that was part of a, a good arrival. And that arrival consisted of a good number of painted ladies. Many people saw painted ladies earlier in the spring, and I saw several at, at various sites, including Ekrin. But I missed the individual that came up here and deposited an egg on this stem. They lay generally near the top of a growing thistle. At the time the butterfly was around, that top would have been about here, and she deposited an egg somewhere in this area. It may well have been on this leaf. They a very small egg, if I remember right, painted ladies, and the larva itself is small, but the egg soon hatches out, and the larva finds a suitable leaf, and then starts to construct a tent-like structure by pulling parts of that leaf together. It's then feeds in that leaf, and then when it's outgrown that leaf, it moves on to another one. In this case, it moved down to this one here, to this leaf here. Did the same thing, created that sort of tent. It's not a tent that gives them really any protection, certainly not from any parasitic wasps, nothing at all. Barely even covers the caterpillar, to be honest. But anyway, after having outgrown her little home here, moved down to this one created a larger home and you can still see the remnants of the frass that's in there they don't eat a great deal for the size of the caterpillar that they are but after outgrowing that one and in getting into the final instar lots of this leaf has come off it then occupied a larger tent on here and after completing growth descended off this stem and pupated somewhere safe, low down. That butterfly is very probably one of those that I've been seeing around this field today. And they will produce at least one more brood. And then, usually in August, they will start to move south. It depends very much on what kind of summer we get for the rest of the summer. And they don't all fly at high altitude. Everybody now thinks that they fly out of sight at high altitude. They don't. They can go through often quite early. And they're easy to miss painted lady movements in autumn. But August is usually best. Could even be as early as late July. And they will fly at the height that I am. They will fly at sort of crop height. No doubt some do fly high, but you can actually sit down and watch Painted Lady migration. But in autumn, it's quite a rare phenomenon. Of course, in spring, it's produced some enormous numbers of butterflies. One of the most incredible spectacles and experiences was the last big Painted Lady movement. And thanks to modern technology, we knew it was coming. We were able to track the large numbers from as far away as Morocco and coming up through sort of Spain and then through France. And we know exactly where they were, the main wave. What a couple of days that was. And yet, hardly saw a one going back. But if you want to look for the larval webs of painted ladies, it's worth looking any time because... Because these are very obvious to see even now. You you only have to just walk past the plants. You don't have to be daft and grapple with the prickles on this thistle like I am. Chances are may well be vacated, but I say there will be a new brood along shortly. But it's an easy thing to look for. People don't look for this kind of thing anymore. I think people have lost that inquisitive nature, that 
yearn for learning and finding out all too quickly easy to ask somebody on facebook or google it where's the fun in that and where's the learning because people tend to ask these things but they don't take it in they don't remember it go out and look for something you'll remember it for the rest of your life so even without the occupant it's possible to go out now and say a painted lady landed here a few weeks ago not many people will be able to say that 